Hi guys, welcome to the video this week and I uh, hope you enjoyed the last week, the travel hacks and you benefit a little bit from it. And we're going to continue this week, talk about how do you get an upgrade. Everybody loves this word, an upgrade during the travel. And also I'm going to show you a very cheap Lufthansa first class, Swiss first class airfare. So stay tuned for this week's series. The news this week is there's amazing cheap Lufthansa Swiss first class airfare from Athens, from Greece to China. So it's actually on my website, samtree.com. Um, if you're not familiar, this is my website here. I have a blog, uh, which I will try to uh, put a lot of stuff on my blog. And uh, let's go to um, check out the fare restriction before we talk about more is um, the fare is 2,500 euro round trip in first class. You can fly either Lufthansa or Swiss or a combination of them to Beijing, Shanghai or Hong Kong. Um, you need to book by 29th of April and you can travel all the way to 16th December. Uh, minimum stay three days, maximum stay three months. The only thing is the blackout date is not allowed traveling the peak summer from 29 June to 26 August. Now I'm going to show you one more new website here. This site here is called ITA Matrix Airfare Search. Some of you already heard of. This is actually uh, before Google Flight. This is the a search engine that powered the Google Flights as well. So what it does is a free tool. It can search, let's say, Athens to Hong Kong here. And I put in 10 and 17 by random dates in May because I am actually very tempted to uh, get to Athens to fly this. And let's have a look at the results here, what it's going to give us. Okay, so it found a nice cheap fare here. Um, you know, so you can see Athens to Munich, Munich to Hong Kong is 380. Uh, Hong Kong to Frankfurt on the A340, 600, and then Frankfurt to Athens. And it gives you all these combinations. You can see also multiple airlines. So what this means is, is going out on the Swiss to Hong Kong with 777 in first class and coming back on Lufthansa on the A340. So I think um, there's a lot of combination you can play with whenever you want to fly Swiss 777, Lufthansa 340, Lufthansa A380. And the nice thing about ITA Matrix um, is you can do almost like a calendar search. So I'll show you one more thing here. So let's say I want to uh, depart on May 11. I'm going for five days looking for first class. So what it does then is going to search all the combination possible in uh, May and June. Or you can also scroll down July, August every month for five days from May 11, five days. So this is basically um, a very useful calendar. You can overview the departure day for your plan. Guys, if you remember last week, I was showing you a website called Momundo. Momundo usually can beat the airline ticket price from the airline official sites. So looking at this one from Athens to Hong Kong on a random May date, I found Lufthansa website is 3,074, it shows, and Momundo can find you a cheaper site and take you to that particular site to book. So Momundo can maybe save you additional money booking a expensive airfare like this. Your first class experience with Lufthansa start from their awesome and unique first class lounge or the first class terminal in Frankfurt. Inside these first class lounge and terminal, they have a great design, a great bar, a nice buffet spread with lots of good meats, waiter, waitress service on dining. Perhaps the most impressive experience I like is to ride in a brand new Mercedes S-Class or a Porsche Cayenne that take you directly to your plane. Once on board, you found identical first class seats installed across the fleet on Airbus A330, 340, on the 380, and the 747-8. Of course, my favorite is the 747-8 in row one. Why? Because no one is in front of you. The pilot seat upper deck and behind you as well. Caviar is always served as the first course on dining on Lufthansa first class. You found loads of food and depends on the destination you get special cuisine like Chinese food, Indian food. Um, in short, there's no shortage of food on Lufthansa first class. You can have a look at all my footage here.
So guys, now we're going to talk about upgrades. So the upgrade is the holy grail word of travel. And there's two types of upgrade, by the way. One is a free upgrade, which everybody loves. So I'm going to show you how, what you mean by free upgrade and how do you get it. The second type of upgrade is actually a pay upgrade. You use your miles, you pay using your cash. So uh, we explore all the options, see hopefully you understand and make sure you don't overpay for your upgrade. So what do you mean by free upgrade? Free upgrade is also mean operational upgrade. So a free upgrade will happen when there is a um, situation that the planes oversold. So they have to move some of the economy passenger upgrading them to business class so they can fly on the same time. An airline has to be non-discriminatory, so they can't just give uh, upgrade based on the look of the person or how nicely they get treated, right? So um, it's ranked by algorithm. So I think usually when an upgrade happens, an operational upgrade happens, it's usually favoring the top tier frequent flyers of that airline program. So uh, the platinum, the gold member will get a chance to upgrade first. Also, some airlines nowadays are ranked by the fare you paid. If you are paying a higher fare or a full fare, your chance to get upgrade when there's oversold situation happens is higher than the other passenger. So um, I'm going to show you on Expert Flyer, as you can see here, on the 24th of April, London Heathrow, Dubai to London. So these are all the fare buckets uh, representing how many seats available in each class. So economy is the highlighted bit from Y class. Y is full fare economy down all the way to the sub-buckets. Each class represents a different fare, much lower fare, the buckets is towards the end. So what you're seeing here is this flight, EK7, has completely sold out in the economy. It has actually one seat available in business class, which is J class, and then it has three seats available for selling full first class fare. Um, so what that means is, um, yeah, the whole economy is oversold, basically. It's, it doesn't sell anymore. It could not sell anymore. But there's still a few seats available in uh, first and business class. Um, let's have a look. Other flights here, EK31, this one, same situation. Four seats available in first class, one seat available in business, completely oversold. So what that means is this is a target flight. For those people who want to have an operational upgrade happen, it will rank by your frequent flyer status and the fare you paid. So if you are one of those paying high fare and top elite frequent flyer in the airline program at Emirates, then your chance to get upgrade is quite decent. Now, I'm going to show you another situation here. And uh, this is a flight departing on the 23rd of April from Abu Dhabi to Rome on Etihad. So now you can see here, this is another reverse situation of earlier what we've seen is there's a lot of seats available in the economy, up to seven seats available for sale. But in business class, it's full, J class zero. So in this situation here, you would not get an operational upgrade because there's no seats to get upgrade to the front. So um, for an operational upgrade to happen or for any upgrade to happen, you've got to have a situation that there's got to be seats available in the premium cabin for you first. So now let's talk about the pay upgrade. So um, there's two different type of pay upgrade you can upgrade yourself. One is using cash and the other one is using miles. So uh, these days the norm is that airline, when you're booking economy, they would re recognize you as a candidate for upgrade before the flight. You will get an invite email, or you can go to the airline site to type in your flight reference and look for an upgrade option there. The uh, option is generally available for bidding, or um, the airline would nominate a range of price that you're willing to pay, and there's a minimum and maximum. And if you pay higher, the chance to upgrade is obviously better. And so now it's very important to know a few things using this kind of upgrade scheme. One is that you should always pay below the business class ticket price. What I mean that, for example, if your economy flare is $500 and your business class fare is $1,200, if you look at Expert Flyer or Google Flights or Skyscanner, for example, you found out the difference of the fare. So the difference of that is $700. Then you should never pay more than $700 because otherwise you're defeating the purpose. You're buying economy and paying more than a business class fare at the end. And... Uh, secondly, also the bid upgrade only works when there are seats available closer to departure and your upgrade will get confirmed. So I would uh, suggest to leave the bidding tours later, not immediately 
months ahead. If you can bid about a few days earlier before your flight and using resources like Expert Flyer, then you can um, probably put in a lower bid because um, you know, if you look at there's a lot of seats available closer to departure, then airline will be accepting a lower bid. So you don't have to bid so high to secure your seats. Now, um, the other way to upgrade, like I mentioned earlier, is using miles. Now, I would be more careful with this approach because generally I think there are better ways to use your miles than paying for an upgrade. This is just my own view. What you need to know whether it's worth doing this. It may cost you a lot of miles because you have uh, bought a very restricted economy class fare. And it might cost you a little bit less miles if you bought a flexible economy class fare. So the miles you have is not free. You know, this is very important to understand. You know, you should know what the miles you have is worth. What I really recommend and value the miles is around one to one and a half cents each. So let's say if the upgrade costs you 40,000 miles, 40,000 miles at one and one half cents each means it costs you 400 to 600 US dollar worth of miles. And the other type of upgrade maybe is at a check-in counter. When you go to check-in, you can always ask if uh, the premium class is available, whether airline sells for a fixed price upgrade. So some airlines like Thai Airways, they sell a fixed price upgrade. No matter what economy booking class you do, um, you might book the cheapest, and then they will sell you a fixed price upgrade to the front. So um, this strategy might be worth to consider. Again, if you're knowing the fair difference beforehand, that will help you to make a much better informed decision. So you know you're getting away with values. You don't want to overpay for that upgrade and up paying more than what it should cost. So the importance is to know the valuation of your miles, to value your miles carefully so you can make an informed decision here. Thanks for watching this week's video. I hope the content is useful. Again, if you have any feedback or you know any deals you want to share, please let me know. Next week is very exciting for me. I'm flying the Malaysia Airline A350 in first class. So watch next week's video's review. See you next week, guys.